Hello, this is Jose Gomez, DevOps Solution Architect at Nutanix. In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Calm and Azure DevOps to create your CI CD pipeline. Let's get started. I'm right now in Calm. This is the Calm marketplace where you can publish your blueprints and deploy your infrastructure, your applications, and other IT services. So the idea is how we integrate Calm with your existing Azure DevOps pipelines. For this, we are going to use the Calm DSL domain specific language. That is a way to do infrastructure as code with Nutanix Calm. This is my repo that we are going to use for the example and how it looks like this DSL blueprint. This is Python, as I mentioned. And in this blueprint, we are going to deploy a very simple Linux machine. This Linux machine, it's going to download the CentOS image from the internet. We are passing username, password for the operating system. Then we create the service itself. That is the CentOS virtual machine. We define details like how many CPUs, how much memory. Those details are coming from a file called CentOS specification that I will show you in a bit. We provide some information around what subnet we want to connect that virtual machine, how many replicas of that virtual machine, one replica is enough. And finally, we just finish the blueprint combining all those objects like the credentials, the service, packages, substrate, that is the specification of the virtual machine, like memory, CPU, network, and finally, the profile. This is going to have a single profile. So this is the blueprint that we are going to modify. Once we modify, it's going to be pushed into GitHub, into this repo, and that's going to trigger a pipeline on Azure DevOps. Let me show you first that specification file that I mentioned. If we go back to the repo and we check the CentOS specification, this is just a YAML file where we define the values of our virtual machine, along with cloud init script as an example. This is the file that we will change with different resources from memory or CPU in order to trigger the pipeline. How it looks like this pipeline in Azure DevOps? So the pipeline is defined with the Azure Pipelines YAML file, and it's a very simple one. We have variables where we keep our credentials for Prism Central in order to communicate with the con API, we are going to trigger on the master branch in GitHub. This pool is very important. When you are integrating Azure DevOps with your on-prem data center, you need to use self-hosted agents for Azure DevOps. Those self-hosted agents will communicate with, with your Azure DevOps SaaS offering and internally will communicate with the Prism Central API. So we have here different stages. The first one is build. On this build, what we are doing is just to compile a container that is running the con DSL CLI. That CLI will give you the ability to compile blueprint, to launch application and operate your con instance. We compile or we build this container image and we push the container image into Docker Hub. The next step is going to be the deployment on Calm. And the way to do it, you can see that the container image that we are using is the one that we built on the previous step. And then on our script, we are doing few things. The first one is to initiate our connection with Calm. Then we pass variables for the username and password of the protein system, and we create the blueprint consuming the main.py file. We launch the blueprint, we watch the process to finish, and finally we want to get back the IP address and the VM name so we can connect to that VM, in this case via SSH. This pipeline is available in Azure DevOps. By the way, Azure DevOps, when detect that there is a new change, a new commit on the code, will refresh that Azure pipeline 
file as well. But you can see here an example that I ran two hours ago. We build, we deploy. Let's see how we do that from Visual Studio Code and we work as a developer in that example. This is the same repo and we said that we are going to change the specifications. Let's change the number of CPUs back to one and only two GB of memory. We save the change and now let's push that change into GitHub. Let's add a message for the commit. This is going to be one GCPU, two GB. We commit and we push. At that point, Azure DevOps is going to detect that there is a new version of the code because we have integrated Azure DevOps with GitHub. Let's wait just a few seconds and we should see here a new run coming up. Let's open this one and now has started with the build of the image. In this case, it's going to be really fast because we haven't changed anything on the Docker file. So all the layers exist. And we'll move to the next step that is deploying into Kong. For this example, it's really important that in your self-hosted agent for Azure DevOps on-prem, you have installed Docker. In my scenario, I'm using CentOS as the self-hosted agent and I have the Docker engine running on that self-hosted agent. On this way, we can use the com DSL container to operate our Nutanix com. Now it's starting with the initiation of that connection with con. From there, we'll move into the compilation of the blueprint. Then we'll continue with the deployment of an application. We will monitor the process. And then we will get back the IP address and the VM name. Initiation is completed. Now it's compiling, Blueprint has been created. This is now launching. You can see the application name with the build number 215. And if we move now to Kong, we should see an application coming up. This is now waiting for the deployment. So let's move in the meantime to Prism. Let's go to Applications. Now you can see that we have an application coming up on provisioning state, coming from the service account Azure with the name that we saw on our pipeline. We have visibility of the entire process, clicking on Audit and expanding the Audit trail. This is fetching the CentOS image from the internet. So you get always the latest CentOS image. And now it's kicking the provisioning of a virtual machine with that image. We can see the task coming up on Prism. Is starting the virtual machine. We could click on the virtual machine and open the console to see the installation process. The virtual machine seems to be finishing, still need to apply the cloud in it to change the host name. Let's go back to com. Provisioning it's almost done. Is waiting for the IP address for the virtual machine. 
and we can monitor this process in our pipeline as well. We are waiting to finish the deployment, so we need to get the progress equal to 100%. still refreshing. It takes about uh, two to three minutes to deploy the virtual machine. Let's see for a second how it's going in Calm. Okay, now in Calm has finished, it's running. We should see very soon this step coming to 100% on the next refresh and then continuing giving back the IP address and finishing the process. You can see 100%. Now the pipeline will return VM name and IP address and will finish successfully. Here it is. That was quite quick. Let's go at the bottom. VM name and IP address. So we could copy this IP address and SSH if we want to. So this is the way to integrate Nutanix Calm with Azure DevOps. You can see very straightforward. You can get the entire code from the repo. It will be available on the description of this video. And you just need to import that repo into your Azure DevOps and have an agent running on-prem self-hosted agent with Docker and we should be good to go. I hope that this was useful. Please leave your comment if you have any question and keep calm and continue automating. See you on the next video. Thank you.